This is the Diamond DA62, created by Diamond Aircraft Industries of Austria, which is one of the world's leading general aviation aircraft manufacturers. The DA62 has been catalogued as the ultimate flying machine, specially made for use by individual owners, air taxis, and corporate operators. If it could be defined in just five words, they would be space, performance, efficiency, luxury, and of course, safety. The initial prototype of the DA-62 took flight for the first time in 2012. From then on, the development team was in charge of polishing and perfecting every detail of this twin-engine aircraft, with the intention of being faster and going farther than any other aircraft in its class. Finally, it was formally introduced to the market in October 2015, becoming the newest member of the Diamond family of aircraft. The Diamond DA62 stands out at first glance thanks to its beautiful and neat exterior design, as its stylized carbon fiber fuselage incorporates a fully aerodynamic design that provides better performance and efficiency when flying, as well as greater occupant protection provided by the passive safety technology incorporated into its design. Diamond allows the exterior design to be completely customized according to the customer's tastes and preferences, offering a wide range of colors to choose from, and my favorite is the metallic ruby red. A lot of aviators consider the DA62 as an SUV or a minivan. It's certainly big enough for that. Up close, it stands higher than the original DA42 and is 2 feet longer. The wingspan is 47.8 feet and the tips are upswept. It stands 9 feet 3 inches tall and its length is 30 feet. The top of the tail is a full foot higher than the DA42. As noticeable as these changes are from the outside of the airplane, the cabin interior is noticeably larger in both width and length thanks to a 5-inch plug inserted longitudinally between the two fuselage halves. Where the original DA42 shared the forward-hinged bubble canopy introduced on the DA40 single, the DA62 has a pair of gullwing doors that hinge up out of the way for ingress and egress. For access to the rear, Diamond enlarged the left side hatch to barn door proportions and supported it with a spring mechanism to make it easy to open and close. Entering involves simply stepping down into the cabin from the wing. The luxury that the exterior of the aircraft transmits is also reflected in the interior of the plane, which incorporates premium elements of different styles, colors, and materials. Its cabin is extra large, ensuring crew access without any problem. Its front seats are generously sized and adjustable. On the face of it, this makes the DA-62 a seven-seat airplane, with two up front, three in a wide bench seat that serves as a mid-row, and two kiddie seats in the rear. But practically, it's a four-seater with enormous baggage capacity, or a five-seater with moderate range and surplus payload. The comfort inside the aircraft is indisputable. The material used for the seats, ceiling, and carpet is top quality, offering up to four color options to customize your interior. In any of the four available configurations, exclusive genuine leather panels are used with inlays of other composite materials such as Alcantara, all handcrafted and custom made. The materials used are also ultra lightweight, fire resistant, dirt resistant, and UV protected. Ergonomic features include air conditioned seats with variable lower doses support and adjustable backrest, central armrests, and folding leg rests, all softly padded to provide a luxurious traveling experience for passengers on board. At 5,071 pounds max gross, the DA-62 is the largest, heaviest airplane Diamond has ever built, and it doesn't lack for useful load. Because of European ATC regulatory limitations, there are two versions of the DA-62, and the European version is limited to 4,397 pounds, a whopping 674 pounds less than the North American version. That's more than the weight of the full fuel load and turns the airplane into a two- or three-placer with full fuel. Be glad you don't live in Europe. Speaking of fuel, the airplane has a 4,850 pound zero fuel limit. So on an empty weight of 3,471 pounds, 1,379 pounds can go in the cabin, but the remaining 221 pounds must be fuel. That's about 32 gallons. The 180 horsepower Austro AE330 engine incorporated into the DA62 is a reliable evolution of the 170 horsepower AE300 engines, which has been present in the Diamond DA40 and DA42. They weigh the same as the AE300 but provide more power, so we can easily speak of an outstanding evolution at the engineering level and improved fuel efficiency. 
Of course, this provides a high level of reliability and easy operability. The AE-330s are turbocharged, direct-injection piston engines, which use jet. This is particularly beneficial for the environment since their emissions are relatively lower. Another important advantage is that Jet-A is available in every country, so DA-62 flight operations will not be limited. These are not only more silent and generate less CO2, but also consume 45% less fuel than conventional piston aircraft engines that run on Avgas. Another reason why this aircraft is one of the best options on the market. Each engine features three-bladed MT constant speed hydraulic propellers, which have advanced propeller geometry for more efficient performance, smoothness of travel, and low noise, all automatically controlled by each engine's digital control. The ignition process is quite simple. Just press the main switch and wait for the glowing advert to go out, then press the engine start button and you're done. Everything will come to life in no time. FADEC manages the RPM and continuously checks for faults. The Diamond DA62 offers outstanding performance for its range, and not for nothing has it been singled out by some industry experts as an all-rounder of the air. Its twin 180 horsepower engines burn less than 11 gallons of fuel per hour on each side at maximum continuous power, propelling the aircraft to a top speed of 192 knots at 14,000 feet. It has a total range of approximately 1,283 nautical miles, so it is ideal for regional flights with the family or on a business trip. Takeoff rotation comes at 75 knots after good but not stunning acceleration. The airplane gathers itself a bit and after gear retraction, it settles into an easy 1,500 feet per minute rate of climb. Diamond airplanes are known for their balanced and gentle flight characteristics and the DA-62 continues that tradition. Controls are via the same center stick arrangement as on the DA-40 and DA-42. When disturbed in pitch, it barely has a fugoid at all, recovering to the trimmed airspeed in a cycle and a half. Disturb it a lot, and the autopilot's envelope protection kicks in. That's true of roll limits too. Stalls are rather startling for a twin in that holding the stick at full aft provokes no break, wobble, or yaw, but a buffeting parachute mode that takes little effort to maintain in a stable state. Like every diamond creation, the DA-62 is electrically complex and mechanically simple. The best thing is that the electronic complexity is opaque to the pilot and involves integration of the engines with the avionics. Other than the engines, mechanically, the airplane is manual operation. The flaps are electric and the gear is electromechanical, with a power pack in the nose compartment. The fuel system is simple. The left side feeds the left, the right side feeds the right, and crossfeed is available. Total capacity is 86 gallons, with 50 gallons in two 25-gallon mains and 36 gallons in two 18-gallon nacelle auxiliaries. Because of its simplicity to the pilot, the pre-flight checklist is short. Engine start involves flipping on the engine masters and pushing the start button. The engines are throttled by wire, and the power levers are silky smooth. That makes steering with asymmetrical power the best way to drive the DA-62 around on the ground. It's actually kind of fun. Pilots normally prefer twins because of the safety of the second engine, but that comes with the challenge of handling an engine out. Singles has better safety record than twins, not because singles are safer, but some pilots don't correctly handle engine out procedures, which lead to crashes, but in the DA-62, the engines are equipped with auto feathering and engine out drills are much easier. Shut off the engine master and the rest is automatic. You focus on flying, and climb rate on one engine is 450 feet per minute. The DA-62 series incorporates in its flight deck a Garmin G1000 NXI with a standard GFC-700 3-axis automated flight control system, a yaw damper that decreases the oscillations of the Dutch roll, and electronic stability protection, providing excellent control and a high degree of situational awareness reducing the pilot's workload. The full integration of the Garmin G1000 NXI is further complemented by other avionic attachments and options that allow the aircraft to easily adapt to any task assigned to it, such as integrated weather radar, usually available only on more expensive aircraft, air traffic detection and warning system, synthetic vision, thus providing and guaranteeing a higher level of safety in every flight. Another noteworthy aspect is that the lines for unit replacement are located in special spaces that are easily accessible from the outside, thus facilitating maintenance and the resolution of any problems that may arise. 
to facilitate the programming of the G1000NXI, the Diamond DA62 incorporates the Garmin GU476 alphanumeric keypad so that from the cockpit they can interact with the programming commands in a simpler and more intuitive way. This way, programming the G1000NXI is anything but complicated. There are two variants of this Diamond DA62, each with particular characteristics and manufactured according to its maximum takeoff weight. The model intended for the European market is up to 4,407 pounds to avoid air traffic control fees placed on heavier airplanes and has a total layout of up to five seats, while the international version to be marketed in the rest of the world has up to seven seats and supports a maximum takeoff weight of 5,070 pounds. The price for the DA62 is upwards of $1 million depending on the configuration chosen by the client and the customizations made, with the highest version being able to reach a price of over $2 million. Although it is a very expensive price, this aircraft is definitely an acquisition that you will not regret. It is worth it for all the comforts it offers and its high level of technology. The downside of the DA62 is that, in the 7 seats model, the last row is ideal only for children. An adult would be uncomfortable, not to mention two. Apart from this, one of the biggest cons is not in the aircraft itself, but in the sector in which it competes, a sector that has experienced a sharp decline in the sale of twin light piston aircraft units to the point of being considered an almost extinct segment. Thanks to the harmonic integration of its components both at hardware and software level, the Diamond DA62 is one of the most capable and easy to fly piston aircraft ever produced. It has superior efficiency, high-quality construction, and technical sophistication. The work on design, distribution, and space utilization has been exceptional, and in terms of both passive and active safety, it is a product that is capable of offering comfort and safety in equal measure. It is also perfect for people with very specific tastes, as they can customize it in their own way and have many options to choose from to meet their needs. It has an aesthetic appearance from every perspective. To conclude, the Diamond DA62 is a well-rounded product, a comfortable, beautiful, and easy-to-operate aircraft with a long list of positive attributes behind it, such as the implementation of sophisticated technology, quality construction, and aesthetic appeal, and is capable of earning a place on the list of the best twin light aircraft of all time. All in all, this aircraft is a pilot's dream. With its pros and cons, the Diamond DA62 was designed for pilot satisfaction and many important aspects and minor details were taken into account for its construction. This is a one-of-a-kind flying machine that moves farther and faster than any other aircraft in its class. There is no doubt that the Diamond DA62 speaks of exquisite luxury and there is no way in the world that an aviation enthusiast wouldn't like to fly it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.